honestly, if you ask me, the moment it is not my birthday, it's time to get spooky. But now it is officially spooky time. I believe the 21st is the first day of fall. Either way, we're gonna pop out the apple cider. We're gonna bust out pumpkin spice. We're gonna be eating candy apples, all that good stuff. It is time, but I think this package will also help set the mood because this is the dim card holder. Uh, the newest kind of product right now, as of recording this at least, Ghost Game is officially going to start airing in October, which I think is actually going to be awesome because that season does seem like it's going to be a little bit more spooky. And I'm very excited for that. Did not finish 2020, but I heard it was a pretty meh ending. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That kind of engagement really does help the channel. And uh, comment, let me know what you guys thought of the 2020 finale. Did you even watch it or did you just drop it? Let me know. I am very eager to know. And also, of course, please, please subscribe to the channel. Help us out. It'll be all good. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so, um, well, I mean, I can kind of show it off like it's a package. I, I can't really, I don't have the space yet. I plan on doing a really big change to the room. I plan on getting a new desk. And finally, that new computer that'll help me edit and export videos. I'll hopefully be able to make more videos for you guys. That'd be awesome. Like my new light, I, got, I bought one of those. Uh, those TikTok lights. Hopefully this will make it a bit spooky. I'm gonna spookify everything. Just, just give me some time, okay? Uh, during October, we'll definitely have it all spookified. The uh, the dim card holster, uh, but more specifically, and the reason why I wanted to hurry up and open this because it is spooky month because we do have the Dynasty of Evil dim card. It only came with one, and as you can see, it kind of completes this uh, this circle we got going on here. Uh, so let's get a closer look at it right over here. And of course, just like I said, we have the dim card holster right there. Uh, again, that's pretty big. Uh, let's compare it with Erod's holster. Stupid frames arm girl. I filmed that. I, I, I recorded myself. I streamed, really, uh, building that. You should totally check it out. It streams uh, every week usually on a Thursday, and more importantly, they always go to the playlist to stream archives, so check that out if you wanna see the streams. Uh, so here's his, and then here's the dim card holster. Uh, a lot bigger, uh, because this is just for dim cards, this is for the cards themselves, uh, and like the backing cards, and also like the actual dim itself. It was pretty funny. We have these dim cards that need a home, and we have the holster now, um, so that's cool. So we're gonna, we're gonna open this now. No more, no more ranting and rambling, sorry. What is cool about this, like I said, is it comes with the Dynasty of Evil Dim. At the moment, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the only way to get the Dynasty of Evil Dim. So if you want the bad boys, you might want to buy this, the, or that sort of thing. I keep forgetting, always remember guys, always remember, there is a, another piece of tape right there. Always remember that, don't try to force it. There's a reason why it's not opening, you did not take all the tape off. I say this every time I unbox anything. But sometimes I forget myself. Anything on the inside? Oh shit, there's actually something on the inside. All right, first of all, let's get this holster out. Pretty good, um, kind of a hollow plastic. Kind of a hollow plastic, nothing too crazy. It does uh, look a lot like a business card holder. I think that's what they were kind of modeling this after. Um, it does have some stuff on the back. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. Anyway, uh, Bandai made in China. No date though, that's interesting. Um, so I'm guessing we just, oh, all right, there we go. Let's open it right there. So I believe the cards go on this end and then the actual, yep, the actual dim cards go in here. There's a nice little piece of foam there to keep them in place. I'm assuming it only fits one, two, three, four, five dim, but we'll, we'll be able to test that because we have about five dim here. Kind of interesting. So here is the Dynasty of Evil dim, as you can see, fits pretty good. Uh, so we're going to, take this out right and we're going to take the actual dim card out of here right um, and then what you do is you just place it right in here also nice little wizard mon right there very cool and then you just and there you go and you can totally this is really good for uh, this definitely feels pocketable uh, like in a jacket pocket mostly I mean I think you probably fit this in your pocket let's try it out let's try fitting in our pocket 
So, a little pocket. Yeah, fits in there pretty good. Um, I mean, that'd be kind of weird. You man, can you imagine? You just, just, whoosh, what's up, bitch? Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like that'd be weird. Got a nice kind of opening and closing. Let's do, some, let's do something real stupid, but I mean, hey, that's my thing. All right, I'm going to just shake the crap out of this and see if it'll shoot out. I don't know why you'd be holding it in your hand and running for your life, but just in case, let's just say someone's trying to steal your dim cards. You're at a, you're at a convention and then they want to steal your Dynasty of Evil dim. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I had to really like hit it and it flew, but I mean, that's a pretty good hold. Um, like, pretty good hold. Oh, sh Again, I was being really, I was going really hard on that, but it's going to hold pretty well. It's a pretty nice hold. So, you know, as long as you're being dumb, you, you're there in a safe spot. And I did drop them before and just not too badly scuffed. Although this is matte plastic and matte plastic is, I love matte plastic. Okay, I really do. Matte black, it's a nice look. Gets really grody easily. There's already scratches showing up on here and I just shoved it in my pocket once. So just keep that in mind. This is gonna get a little grody, get a little gross. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure most of you know how matte plastics look like after a while. If you own a Switch, my but the back of my Switch looks, it's disgusting. Uh, but yeah, so let's just show off the uh, the back of the um, the actual really cool looking design there. I really like that. I don't know what that is exactly. I don't know if that's like Wizard Mons thing or what. But as you can see, it shows you front for the uh, cards, the back for the dim themselves. One, two, three, four, five total in that dim. Very interesting. I don't. I don't know. I, I was hoping this was gonna be able to hold more than just six. I think six is just not enough. Pretty much, uh, what? How many dims is this? Uh, five dim, and as you see, the I don't. I'm not comfortable putting another card in there. It's pretty much full. Um, so that kind of, again, I, I wasn't expecting this to hold many. But I was expecting to hold a little bit more than this. Um, definitely, that's that's as much as you're gonna get out of it. So about five dim cards total, and it, it comes at one two. So the one slot is already going to be taken. Is this like, oh, okay. There's no way. Maybe it's like that. Okay. And then we'll do like that. Okay. All right. I was just being dumb. I'm just being dumb. Don't mind me. Okay. Cool. If it's in there. So, yeah. Don't be dumb. It goes like that. So the first one goes up here. Well, let's shove it in just a little. First one goes in here, then here, then here, then here, then here. Like that and that array. So you got the, again, the cards in the front, actual dim in the back, and they do fit pretty nicely. They're in there pretty well. Uh, if you're wondering where my versus dim is, because that's another thing, you know, carrying on the versus dim, I've, it's a little awkward. I have my versus dim in the the E rod. Uh, dim card holder, which is gonna have to hold the rest of my dim too uh, when they come in. This is also some of the accessories you sent me. I still have some of the extra ones here as well. Um, Digital Dream just posted a really good video showing off how to install the rest of the mods that I didn't show off. So definitely you should check that video out. It's done very well. Um, and then you just uh, shove this right on in and let's just see how that goes. There we go. And then if you want to, bow, you just pull it right out from the back. Boom. Not bad. Again, I think this is a great idea. This is, I, I, because like the E-Rod one, I like his a lot, but that's like for home. I just feel like the way it is, um, I like, I'm comfortable keeping that one home because I can like open the top and it's more of like a presentation piece. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, like this is, it's like a presentation piece. You kind of open it. And then you keep it open and you can kind of have it at an angle and then you have all your dim there. That's how I would have this one. This one, I feel... Oh, God. That's already a problem I'm noticing. So even with uh, the five in there, it wants to like... That little... This little thing wants to kind of shove it up. All right. Let's pop in the Dynasty of Evil. Let's get spooky, guys. And girls. And everyone else watching. Put in storage. Wait, what? 
He's still there? What? They jog rest. I showed you the footage. I could have swore that when you jog rest, the other Digimon disappears. That's what I was under the impression of, but apparently he's still there. Which is very weird. It'll hatch. Cool. So you got a cute little, like, purple looking egg. Very evil looking. Very cute. Let's see who pops out of here. I, I can't remember who the baby one and two on this one is. I think it might be Kimon. Let's see. Oops. Oh, it's uh, Zurimon or Zelly? Jellymon? Zurimon? I can't remember. He was causing a lot of fucking problems in the anime. Remember that? Jeez. Um. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's all for me. Huge shout out to my patrons, and thanks to all of the winners of the, uh, the giveaway that we did. Don't worry, I have not shipped them out yet. I am very sorry, but once I do, I will be hitting you guys up. Um, the craziest thing about the giveaway is the fact that everyone got exactly what they were looking for, um, which is hilarious. So, that's it for me. I'm going to go. Take care of yourselves, guys. Take it easy. Drink your water. All that good stuff. Peace.